Safe use of testosterone replacement therapy in elderly men with testosterone deficiency syndrome. Testosterone plays a key role in the growth and development of many systems within the human body. Beginning in the fetus, the undifferentiated gonads are transformed into the testes or ovaries. The testes produce two secretory products, mullerian inhibiting factor or MIF and testosterone. These two products are responsible for the masculinization of the fetus. Testosterone, acting through androgen receptors, initiates maturation of the internal male reproductive organs. The conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, by the enzyme 5-alpha reductase stimulates the urogenital sinus to transform into the urethra, the periurethral glands, and the prostate gland. The prostate gland remains very small until puberty. Then, in conjunction with estrogens, intraprostatic DHT initiates further development of the prostate and stimulates its function. The prostate gland continues to enlarge with age, and in some men, benign prostatic hypertrophy, or BPH, develops. Moreover, as men age, the incidence of prostate cancer increases, while serum testosterone levels tend to fall. A potential but undocumented concern of testosterone supplementation in elderly men is that it will lead to progression of BPH or prostate carcinoma. While testosterone replacement therapy, or TRT, in hypogonadal elderly men may result in a modest volumetric increase in the prostate gland, the extent of growth is usually insignificant. Therefore, TRT in men with BPH and minimal obstructive manifestations is considered safe. If BPH is causing severe obstruction, TRT should be postponed until the obstruction is successfully treated. To date, there is no evidence that exogenous androgens promote development of prostate carcinoma. However, an existing invasive prostatic carcinoma may progress vigorously as a result of androgen therapy. For this reason, testosterone replacement therapy is contraindicated in men with an existing prostate carcinoma or men with potential subclinical prostate carcinoma. Prostate carcinoma may be diagnosed through clinical and laboratory testing. All men considering TRT should undergo a digital rectal exam, or DRE. Nodules, or firm areas in the prostate, can signal carcinoma. In addition to a DRE, a laboratory assessment of prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, is suggested. PSA is produced in the epithelial cells of the prostate, and under normal circumstances, only small amounts escape into the bloodstream. Prostate enlargement, infection, or disease can lead to breakdown of the epithelium, allowing more PSA to enter systemic circulation. Thus, PSA levels above normal are cause for concern. Patients with abnormal findings on DRE or with an elevated PSA level should be referred to a urologist to evaluate the risks and benefits of testosterone replacement therapy. Appropriately powered long-term safety studies are not available, but current thinking is that with caution and vigilance, TRT is safe and effective in elderly men with well-documented TDS.